What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new video. This week we're gonna be looking at a pretty fantastic film that we're gonna to push to its limits. We're doing an exposure test for Lomo 800. I've had this location in mind for a while now that I've wanted to make some pictures of. As I drove by it today, I realized it's not the perfect conditions and that's kind of perfect to test out the Lomo 800. So I got my camera, got all set up and ended up taking seven exposures total of this scene. And really the thing that was working for me the most in this situation was how contrasty it was. You're really gonna be able to see how well it handles the lights and the darks when they're at extremes. So this first shot right here is the middle exposure. I did an overall meter of the scene. Right off the bat, I'm pretty happy with this image. Like I said, it is pretty extreme. So we've got the dark darks as well as the bright brights. The film seems to be handling the brights very well. Um, the darks are rather grainy. I think there might be a little bit of a green cast um, to the shadows and maybe more of a magenta or yellow cast to the highlights. But overall, for how contrasty this scene is, I'm pretty happy with this result. So let's go ahead and go one stop underexposed. As you can see, we really start losing detail quickly in the darks and the grain just really kind of pumps up. Uh, it looks like the darks go a little bit more magenta than they were before. Um, highlights still look great, if not better. Uh, and then by the second stop underexposed, uh, we've completely lost those shadows there. There's not going to be much recovering from that. Um, and they have gone quite magenta, uh, though this is probably the best the highlights have looked. Um, there's a lot of saturation coming in as we go lower exposed. Um, I can, the, the green and the blue saturation really looks like it's increased. So then this is going to be one stop overexposed. And right off the bat, I don't know if I am loving this. The highlights seem to be pretty drastically brighter from our original exposure. Um, it seems kind of green again, but I'm sure if I had worked with this image, I'm I'm pretty sure I could probably make it look a little bit better and recover a little bit of those highlights. So then going two stops overexposed. Again, it looks like the whole image is shifting warmer. A little bit of an orange or yellow hue or cast throughout the whole film. The shadows are looking a little more blue. Then I apologize for these last two of the overexposed um, to overexpose, I was changing the shutter speed and um, my tripod wasn't very stable on these rocks. So there is a bit of motion blur, um, but we've shifted pretty drastically from that last image. It looks like it's going a lot warmer as we overexpose. Um, and at this point, I, I'd probably say image shake aside, I'd probably say the highlights are a little too overexposed and I wouldn't use an image like this. It kind of feels like maybe two stops overexposed is the limit for the 800. So at three stops, it started shifting to a warmer, kind of a red orange tone, and then it goes yellow and green at four stops overexposed. Um, and th at this point, I really, I don't think there's much saving from those highlights though the shadows look really great. And I think I'm really enjoying the grain structure as we go overexposed. It seems like it's getting quite good. Um, underexposing this film really does emphasize that grain quickly. But that's about all I've got for you this week on the exposure test of Lomo 800. Uh, to wrap us up, I'm gonna show off uh, some other photos that I've taken on Lomo 800 just so that you can get a feel of what else this film is capable of. This by no means is a scientific or accurate like representation. Uh, this is more just my thoughts of how this reacted in this situation for me. Um, maybe it'll help you. I hope it'll help you um, in making some choices going forward. If not, the best way to learn is to go out and do it yourself. So pick up some film if you can find it in stock somewhere. 
And go ahead and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts on Lomo 800 are. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.